Bonnie. Happy Tuesday! I'm going down the retro 80s road again. This is a fun series. I didn't realize how fun this would be. I talked about retro 80s, and then I started talking about the mall. Check it out. Now I found a whole bunch of cassette tapes. I'm so excited to talk about this. I actually had to go in the basement and dig these up, because obviously I'm not, you know listening to cassettes anymore. I can't even believe these were still in the basement because we've moved a lot. So this is not my whole collection, but I think this is part my husband, part mine. Um, now I just listen to uh, Spotify. I just put my headphones on. I've actually been listening to a lot of music this week. If you saw my earlier video, uh, Lenny and I have got this entire Solar Eclipse t-shirt collection. I'm going to do a whole video about that once I get my t-shirt, but I was like listening to music the whole time, uploading everything, so it was kind of fun. Um, oh my gosh, where do I start? So, I'm going to be 54 this month, January 25th. I will be 54, which means I was born in 1970. And I graduated in 1988, so I, li I listened to a lot of music from like 82 to 88. So I'm just going to dig in. Uh, who remembers Tori Amos, Little Earthquakes? Favorite song on this cassette was definitely Crucify. Oh my gosh, M BMG Music. <laughs> Remember the BMG Music Club in Columbia? Where for like, it was like 99 cents and you got like 20 cassettes and then you were supposed to buy more. Did anyone ever buy them? I don't even know. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's Tori Amos. I had a lot of movie uh, cassettes. Say anything. Oh my gosh. Peter Gabriel in your eyes. That was the song for Say Anything. I love John Cusack. Oh my gosh. Um, B-52's Cosmic Thing. Favorite song on Cosmic Thing. Oh my gosh, remember the, you know, if, if it was a good cassette if you had a pullout. Look at that. <laughs> remember this? This is so exciting. This is after vinyl. Oh look, they got like the lyrics on here. How cool is that? This is the Love Shack one. Um, but I remember it was kind of exciting. You know, cassettes were such junk though. I gotta say, um... Remember, I don't have a pencil here. Remember, you either had to use your fingernail or a pencil because they'd always get jammed up in your car radio cassette player. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. Um, REM, Out of Time. This was actually 90s. Losing My Religion. I want to say this is later. That was not high school. Um, for some odd reason, I have the Wayne's World uh, soundtrack on here. I don't know why I have that. I think that was, um, oh my gosh. This was, uh, Bohemian Rhapsody, uh, Ballroom Blitz. Yeah, I like that song. Um, oh, the Red Hot Chili Peppers Greatest Hits. <laughs> uh, why do I have a Greatest Hits collection for Red Hot Chili Peppers? Um, they're not really the Greatest Hits either. Taste the Pain, uh, Fire Behind the Sun. This has got to be some junky compilation. <laughs> I actually love the Red Hot Chili Peppers too, which is funny. Oh my gosh, You 2 War. Remember this one? Uh, Sunday Bloody Sunday. I loved Sunday Bloody Sunday. Remember in MTV they did it live at Red Rocks? I think that was the one. Didn't they do that? Oh my gosh. I was in love with Bono. Bono was great. Um... Ah, the Arrhythmics. I love, love Annie Lennox. She's amazing. Oh, Missionary Man. That was a good one. <gasps> oh, I love Missionary Man. That was good. Elvis Costello. 200 Cigarettes. I just watched that movie. Muddy Like a Rose. Yeah, this was a good one. I always liked Elvis Costello. He was so different. He was just amazing. Um, This is not mine. I liked New Order. But my husband liked New Order more than me. It's funny. I've got, I cut my bangs and I think I put my eyeshadow a little bit too high this morning. And I'm like, that's not my eyebrow, is it? No, I got a really weird line on my eyeshadow today. I feel like I'm doing some weird, like, goth thing. <laughs> I don't want going out with my eyeshadow. Um, I think my husband and I need to have a conversation. Because I have no idea who bought the Bruce Springsteen Tunnel of Love cassette because neither one of us were particularly into Bruce Springsteen. I don't know where that came from. 
Oh, this one's mine. Wham. I love George Michael. This was early. Wake me up before you go-go. Oh my gosh. I loved Wham. Oh, Meatloaf. Dead ringer. Meatloaf, I believe, signed one of these. I gotta find out which one he signed. <gasps> he did! Look at that! Aww. That was ever said I saw Meatloaf at Camelot Music. And he signed my cassette tape. I loved me love. This is a this is a weird one. Remember he had a, a share duet on Dead Ringer? <laughs> I don't know whose this is either, because um I like John Bon Jovi. I appreciate John Bon Jovi more, but I was not like I was a little bit more alternative. Um this was the bad medicine, born to be my baby, living in sin. Um yeah, I was totally into the Go-Go's. Uh, Go-Go's Greatest Hits. This has got to be like a Columbia... Yeah, made for BMG. Uh, our Lips Are Sealed. Cool Jerk. Vacation. Gotta love Go-Go's. Okay. Um, oh, Midnight Oil. I love Midnight Oil. Blue Sky Mining. <gasps> they were good. Remember Peter Garrett? Midnight Oil? He was awesome. Ah, uh, Duran Duran Decade. I have my Duran Duran Girls on Film. Rio. Ah. Oh. Def Leppard. I don't know who bought the Def Leppard cassette either. Again, that was just a, you know, it's funny. I was kind of on the fringe of the hair bands. I don't know. Is Def Leppard a hair band? I'm not sure. I like them now. I actually really love Def Leppard now. Um, the Fix. Remember the Fix? Was this Red Skies at Night? Was Red Skies at Night on here? I don't see that one on here. I loved Red Skies at Night. I remember the Fix. Um... Oh, I have the Madonna Breathless. <laughs> it's funny. I liked Madonna, but I didn't love Madonna. Oh, Stevie Nicks. That's my husband's, I think. The Wild Heart. Um, Automatic for the People. R.E.M. What's this? Uh, this is probably more 90s. This was, um, oh yeah, Man on the Moon. Is this What's the Frequency, Kenneth? I like that song, too. Um, what the heck is this? What is this? I can't even read. Oh, Golden Earring! Oh my gosh, Golden Earring! Twilight Zone! <gasps> that was such a good video. Oh my gosh, I love Golden Earring. Um, oh, a really old Go-Go's. Yeah, this is my husband's, I think. Oh, somebody bought it at a garage sale for a quarter. <laughs> I need to go garage sailing this summer. Uh, oh, Madonna, the Immaculate Collection. That was a BMG special. Um, oh, Rocky Horror Picture Show. Nothing better than the Rocky Horror soundtrack. That's a good... I gotta listen to that one. Not on cassette. Oh, Pretty in Pink. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> Molly Ringwald. Uh, Psychedelic Furs. OMD. Orchestra Maneuvers in the... Do remember OMD? Um, oh, yeah. Uh, oh, Roxette. I love Roxette. They're, like, one of my favorite bands even now. Um, yeah... That was a good one. Okay. Um, Prince and the Revolution. I was a huge Prince fan. I loved Prince. <gasps> um, oh, Scandal. Remember Scandal? Patty Smythe. <gasps> um, oh, another Prince. I, have, I had a huge Prince collection. Oh, Classic Queen. <gasps> Freddie Mercury. I love Freddie Mercury. Uh, oh, Millie Vanilli. Uh, this just makes me sad. Uh, Millie Vanilli, remember they were lip syncing, and then I think the one guy sadly committed suicide. That was horrible. Um, blame it on the rain. I always felt bad for those guys because they were so young, and, you know, I don't think that it was all their record producers that, you know, were having them do it. Same with CNC Music Factory. Remember Martha Washington? That was horrible um, that they had them lip syncing. Uh, another Meatloaf uh, CD. Is this one signed also? I think I had him sign a couple. No, this one's not signed, sadly. <laughs> I was a huge Meatloaf fan. Um, this is Blind Before I Stop. That's kind of a different one. <laughs> Cuts and Roses. <laughs> this was Use Your Illusion 1. Not a huge Guns and Roses fan, um, remember we started to get the advisory explicit label? I think that was Tipper Gore who had the labels put on. Oh my gosh. Um, ministry. This is definitely my husband's, not mine. He was totally into ministry. I just got word. They canceled like all the schools in Northeast Ohio because the wind chill is going to be like minus 20 tomorrow. Um, 
Aldenova. Remember Aldenova? Oh my gosh. That was... <laughs> uh, my husband's, he was so into Depeche Mode. New Order. That's John's. Uh, oh, Chicago 16. I love Chicago. That's mine. <laughs> um, America. I loved America. This was a little bit more maybe late 70s. Um, I liked America, Kansas, any of those bands. Um, oh, Night Ranger. I was a Night Ranger fan. Dawn Patrol. Uh, Sister Christian. Is that is that on here? That was a good one. Um, more B-52s. This is, like, not even close to being my entire collection. Like, there is so much missing. Uh, Cindy, La um, Cindy Lauper's missing. There's another B-52s. Um, I really wish I had my original vinyl collection, because I had the best vinyl collection ever. Oh, Graffiti Bridge. Remember Graffiti Bridge, Prince? <gasps> Can't stop this feeling. Um, oh, I love love Prince. Oh, the Reality Bites soundtrack. Remember, that was 90s. That's not 80s. Um, oh, the Bangles. Remember the Bangles? I did like the Bangles. Oh, Weird Al Yankovic. <gasps> Dare to be stupid. Like a surgeon. I want a new duck. <laughs> Girls just want to have lunch. I love Weird Al. And a couple more. Cindy Lauper, True Colors. Oh yeah, Cindy Lauper. That was more 90s. I swear, I'm missing like the 80s part of this collection. This is a little bit more 90s. Def Leppard, Hysteria. Oh, The Breakfast Club. Oh my gosh, don't you forget about me. I love this movie. I gotta say, I used to know like every line in this movie. Oh my gosh. Um, oh, Eurythmics 1984. This was a good one. <sighs> yeah. Love the Eurythmics. Oh, Touch Dance, too. More Eurythmics. Uh, George Michael Faith. I love that one. Oh, look, Meat Love. Look, he signed the front of this. <laughs> look at this. Ah, oh, Meat Love. Gotta love Meat Love. Oh, it's Meat Love. Okay, I got two more. I have Guns N' Roses. Use your... No. <laughs> I don't have Use Your Illusion, too. I only have one. I have uh, Appetite for Destruction, and I have uh, Green, R-E-M. This one has... I remember Orange Crush. Um. So anyway... I thought this was really interesting because I have not seen these CDs in like a hundred years, honestly. I mean, we moved from vinyl to cassettes and then, of course, you know, CDs. And now for the past, I don't know how long, we've been streaming music. So I know so much of my collection is like missing. So I don't know what happened. <laughs> It got lost in the last, like, ten years. Um, but it's kind of funny that I still have all of these cassette tapes lying around. But I did. I Where's Adam Ant? Um, Billy Idol. Oh, my gosh. Cheap Trick. Tom Petty. Um, honestly, you name it. Dexie's Midnight Runners. Um, you name it. I love. Oh, Big Country. Uh, safety Dance, Men Without Hats, um, Toto. I mean, I am a walking, talking encyclopedia of 80s music. Um, if you play trivia with me, uh, you're probably going to lose. <laughs> Wouldn't it be fun to have a big 80s trivia music thing? Um, I do. I'm really good at 80s music. I got to say, I don't know why. I was just like um, obsessed and I retained so much information. So it was actually fun going through all of these. Let me know your top three 80s bands. I'm going to start, I'm going to keep doing these retro 80s videos. They're kind of fun. Maybe we should do food next. Anyway, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.